Welcome to today's Subnautica tip video. Since I began playing Subnautica, I have made quite a few tip videos. I have covered a wide range of topics for the game, but today I want to speak to the beginner players who are just starting out with this fun game. So here are some quick start tips to help you as a new Subnautica player in the early stage of the game. While there are many small fish you will encounter in your first area, the safe shallows, one that stands out for the beginning of the game is the bladderfish. You can use the bladderfish in the fabricator to make filtered water. So at the beginning, be sure to save any bladderfish you might collect for water purposes and use the other fish for food instead. Once you start finding a steady amount of salt, you can start opting to make bleach and then use it to make distilled water. While you may start with some food and water in your life pod, I recommend saving the nutrient blocks for an emergency. Instead, you will be focusing on collecting the small fish swimming around to use for food. You can prepare them two different ways, cooking or curing. Cooked food is the easiest to make but will slowly decay. That means you should not cook a fish until you are ready to eat. Live fish can be stored in your lockers without penalty. Once you have salt, you can instead choose to cure a fish. Cured fish will not decompose as curing is a preservation method. This is useful for when you need food to carry with you on a longer trip. Cured fish will, however, have a small negative impact on your water level due to the salt usage. While you may have several tools to make starting out, the first one should be a scanner tool. This will not only let you learn more about the plants and creatures around you, but also to scan in technology fragments you find in crates and pieces of aurora wreckage. Scanning enough of a certain item will unlock it, giving you more building capabilities. So basically, as a new player, once you have the scanner tool, you should scan everything. While you can certainly survive well enough in the life pod at the beginning, many people are eager to start building their first base. You may be fired up to build the biggest base you can, but you must also make sure to pay attention to the hull strength. Even in shallow water, you can end up lowering the hull strength too far. Once you have a negative hull strength, you will then have leaks form inside the base. To fix this, you will either have to add hull strength by building a foundation or hull reinforcement, which you may not have the materials for right then, or your second option will be to remove your newest addition or another base component in order to restore a positive hull strength level. Even after you have your hull strength positive again, you will still need to go through checking for and repairing any leaks you find. So whenever you finish adding a new base component, pay attention to the new hull strength level shown on your screen. I do have a previous tip video discussing factors of base hull strength if you are interested in learning more. Please note, however, this video was made during early access and a few elements were changed with the game's full release. And the last quick start tip, use your radio. The radio is an important element in progressing through the Subnautica storyline. Perhaps more important to the new player, the radio will give you small missions to find other life pods. These life pods will either have new information via PDAs, new blueprints via databanks, or will be near a large section of Aurora wreckage that will contain these items as well as some scans. Like I said, I have made quite a few tip videos for the game already, so if you're interested in learning more, be sure to check them out. Well, that is it for today's video, and this is going to be my last tip video for Subnautica until at least the DLC content is released. If you enjoyed this video or any of the other videos in the series, of course, be sure to leave a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.